Please Don't Say Please from Let Them Talk TV. The wrong way. Mildred, Mildred, please stop talking. Let's discuss the plans for the conference. Please meet me at the hotel at 9am. You're always late. Please be on time. We have a lot to do tomorrow. Oh, can I borrow your car in the afternoon, please? Mine is in the garage. I have to pick up Bingley from the station. Everything clear? Please let me know if you need anything. Oh, one more thing. Will you have dinner with me on Saturday night, please? Mildred, there's a great Mexican restaurant in town. Please? Hello? Hello? Today on Let Them Talk TV, we're going to look at why the word please might not be quite as polite as you think. Of course, sometimes we use please in English to make general requests. Can I have a pint of lager, please? Please tell me, how did you do that? Magic trick. And maybe to ask for an apology. Please don't be angry with me. I'm sorry. That's fine. But in certain situations, native speakers will often not use please. They'll use another way to express politeness. And this is to make big or difficult requests, to make offers and to criticize in a polite way. But be careful because sometimes, sometimes, please, if you use it wrongly, it can sound needy and even rude. To find out more, then stay tuned. Please, please. Hello and welcome to Let Them Talk and today we're going to look at some alternatives to please. As I said in my introduction, please is sometimes okay, but sometimes it isn't. Sometimes it can be rude. For example, please don't be late again. Please stop talking. Rude. Of course, it's not as rude as shut the f up. So we need alternatives. More powerful, polite and more persuasive alternatives. In order to be polite, we need to speak indirectly. And the general rule is that the more indirectly we speak, the more polite it is. Now, let's look at how we do that with a few examples. So, the first phrase I want to look at today is, it would be great if. It would be great if. So, you're late, for example. You could say, please be on time in the future. Still sounds a bit rude. So how about this? It would be great if you could get here on time. Just saying. Yeah, sounds better, doesn't it? So the structure is, it would be great if, followed by could or would or a verb in the past. Yes, that's right, a verb in the past. I know you're busy, but it would be great if you could finish this by Thursday. Please have a look at my proposal. Okay. But how about this? You've got a lot of work, but it would be great if you had time to look at my proposal. Better, isn't it? There are other phrases, though, that fulfill the same function, such as I would be grateful, which is more formal. We'd be grateful if you would switch off the music by 11 p.m. I would be grateful if you called the manager. I would like to speak to her. Next, you can use a negative sentence with a question tag. A negative sentence with a question tag. Now, this is extremely polite and is often used for asking for things we wouldn't normally ask. Okay, so for example, uh, please can I stay at your place this weekend? Okay, you want to stay at my place? This weekend, really? Well, I'm not sure. But say this way and the response will be different. Hey, I'm visiting London next week. I couldn't stay at your place, could I? I couldn't stay at your place, could I? Negative statement plus a question tag. Sounds extremely polite, doesn't it? The structure is quite easy. Let's have a look. Take this sentence. Please, can you help me? Remove please. 
switch the you and the can so that it becomes a statement not a question put it in the negative you can't help me now the statement is in the negative so the question tag is in the affirmative the modal verb is can so we use that one whenever you have a negative statement you have an affirmative question tag can you you can't help me can you you can make it even more polite using could you couldn't help me could you finally and this is important to remember the rising tone on the question tag can you could you we have a rising tone on the question tag because this is a real question you couldn't help me could you let's try it again please could you take out the rubbish remove please could you becomes you could put it in the negative you couldn't take out the rubbish affirmative question tag could you you couldn't take out the rubbish could you remember to finish with the rising tone could you let's look at a few more examples you don't have five minutes do you i need your help with something you're not free tomorrow are you we could have that meeting at around 10 a.m you can also use this method to make an invitation to somebody you don't fancy going for a drink tonight do you now it's your turn turn these sentences into a negative with a question tag can you lend me five pounds please you can't lend me five pounds can you would you like to see bts with me i've got a free ticket you wouldn't like to see bts with me would you i've got a free ticket next you can use the future continuous the future continuous in the question form to be extremely polite in certain situations the form is will you be plus verb plus ing so if you work in a hotel in a shop you'll need this form but in other situations too so let's imagine you work in a hotel and you want to know if the guest wants to have breakfast the next morning you could say will you be having breakfast tomorrow morning please can you tell me if you want to have breakfast tomorrow morning that's fine would you like breakfast tomorrow morning that's fine but the future continuous is even more polite it's very indirect you're putting in the future making a distance between you and the listener and the meaning of the future continuous is I'm asking a question but I'm not trying to influence your decision whatever you decide it's okay by me okay so let's look at some more examples will you be needing your car this evening this is a more polite alternative than please can I borrow your car will you be joining us for dinner can you say please come to dinner with us yes you can do you want to come to dinner yes but if you ask will you be joining us for dinner it means no pressure on you I'm just asking that's an option for you uh, let me just try and explain this in a different way You've in, you want to invite a friend to dinner yes you would say hey would you like to come to dinner with me that's the way you would say it but imagine one of your friends in your group is looking really tired then you could say you look tired will you be joining us for dinner so the subtext is I'm just asking I'm not putting any pressure on you okay will you be wanting anything else okay can you say do you want something else yes of course but saying it this way gives the impression that you're not selling anything you're not touting anything you're just politely inquiring so if you work in a shop or in a call center you might do it this way the emphatic do the emphatic do the emphatic do can be used instead of please for extra politeness especially when we are making an offer so instead of saying please sit down that's okay but you could say do sit down mm, yeah instead of saying please let me know you could say do let me know do let me know if you have any questions 
please come in. Do come in. Very polite, super polite. So start the sentence with the imperative do, follow by your sentence. Remember, the emphatic do is not always polite. It depends on the context. It just makes the phrase more emphatic, okay? If it's polite, it'll be more polite. If it's rude, it will be ruder. So you could say, do shut up, which is most definitely not polite. If you want to know more about the emphatic do, its structure and how to use it, then check out the video we made on it up here somewhere. Next, you can use would you mind or do you mind? Okay, I'm sure you know this already, but we're going to look at some of the structures and the differences. So for polite requests, you can use it to ask someone else to do something. Okay, would you mind opening the window? Okay. The verb after mind is always in the ing form. Would you mind going to the shops? We run out of milk. Now, this is more polite than please go to the shops, but less polite than you couldn't go to the shops, could you? We've run out of milk. Okay, so you have to decide the level of politeness according to the situation. Would you mind if I didn't come to the party tomorrow night? Would you mind if we stayed at home? And played Scrabble instead. Do you mind can also be used this way but would you mind is perhaps a little bit more polite. <music> Do you mind is used in another way to replace please especially when you are disturbed by someone. You can say do you mind let's have a look at some examples of that. So instead of saying please be quiet, please be quiet, still sounds a bit rude. You could say, uh, do you mind, I'm trying to concentrate here. It's forceful, but more gentle. Uh, why, why are you taking my cup? Uh, do you mind, I, I haven't uh, finished yet. Please don't take my cup, I haven't finished yet. You say, do you mind, is more polite. But be careful, because of course it depends on how you say it. If I said, do you mind? I'm trying to work here. Or do you mind not taking my cup? I haven't finished yet. Of course, that's going to sound rude. But in, if you say it in the right way, in a gentle way, in a friendly way, it is polite. It might be criticizing, but it's polite. Mildred, Mildred, if you don't mind, let's discuss the plans for the conference. Can you meet me at the hotel at 9 a.m.? It would be great if you could get there on time. We've got a lot to do tomorrow. Oh, will you be needing your car in the afternoon? Would you mind if I borrowed it? I've got to pick up Bingley from the station. Everything clear? Do let me know if there's anything you need. Oh, by the way, one more thing. You wouldn't like to have dinner with me on Saturday night, would you? There's a great Mexican restaurant in town. You would? Excellent. See you tomorrow. Oh, hello there. You would like to go for a drink with me, would you? We can go and get a coffee together. Or oh, not coffee, not coffee? No, okay. We can get some rum punch. Do you like that? No? What about some mead? Ah yes, a nice glass of mead. And afterwards we can wreck a few benches. 